Hello everybody, my name is Mike Kanik and thank you for joining me for Imperion Galactic Survival on my very own multiplayer server uh, playing Reforged Eden. I want to just take a moment here because uh, I'm not going to do a channel update video just yet, but uh, I want to sincerely thank all of you who stopped by uh, just to watch. Uh, this has been the best month I've ever had on YouTube and uh, it's, it's just really encouraging, especially in a time where, you know, we're struggling like everybody else. And uh, it's, it's a little bright spot in my life, and I appreciate that. So, uh, enough with the gushy stuff. Um, I do want to also take a moment to uh, thank my members, my channel members, uh, who have been great, who have supported the channel and what we're doing here. And if you, too, see the worth in what I'm doing and uh, you want to support, go ahead and click the Join button. It does come with some perks like early access to videos and uh, some of my personal videos too so you get to know Mike Tannick a little bit better and start to understand the weirdness that spawns uh, the person that I am so enough with that what are we doing today today we are going to the progenitor gate uh, RJ has completed the missions and I believe that even if I haven't completed all the missions I can still go with him and we're gonna find out one way or the other but first things first uh, we have got to upgrade what we have here. This ship, it's its nice and all, but um, it's its just plain steel. We need a little bit more protection here, and I'm going to put a secondary cockpit back here. If I don't have one already, I think I do. Um, and I'm not going to be able to build it with the CV, am I? Oh yeah, passenger seats. No, that's not what I want. Uh, captain's chair. No, I think I have to go to the advanced constructor. All right, so let's get this done real quick. Okay, so where do I want to put it? Well, first things first, let's get the shields off. Gonna do that. And it's gotta be somewhere away from, uh, I can't really put it there. I can put it there, but there's that window there, but this should be far enough back uh, because that, ooh, I could do it back here. This is perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and try to upgrade some of... Some of these plates. And it looks like I'm kind of out of stuff, but we'll see. Because I'm still going to use this cockpit up here. And now I'm not going to upgrade it to Xeno material because I have none. There we go. Just want to harden this up a bit. All right, and it looks like we're short on titanium plates, which is weird because I swore that uh, I had a bunch of titanium. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll do 200. And I am connected to that container controller, so that's good. Oh, got to repair, do we? No. All right, I have done what I can to upgrade this ship and give it a little bit more protection. It, you know what would be nice is some more guns, actually, while I'm at it. What can I make? I'm out of titanium now, so I probably can't make much. Um, yeah, I don't even think I unlocked... Uh, the heavy, the heavy weapons here yet. Nope, I can't. So I'm still such a low level. I need to do a lot of leveling, but, uh, yeah, we'll worry about that later. Where we're going, uh, I'm going to have some friends. I'm going to have some friends that are going to back me up so I don't necessarily need a lot of guns. I think. We're going to find out. So I am having a hell of a time finding any kind of way there. Uh, <laughs> getting to the decay gate. Okay, so I kind of see. And I'm going to do it this way. I don't know. If you guys don't know already, uh, instead of locking each target, you click on one, lock target, warp to it, you know, that gets really annoying really fast. What you can do instead of that is this, just set waypoints, just like you would on like a regular map, like on a planet, and then you can just go from one to the next, and I will show you. 
Like this. Okay, so, what's the closest one here? Uh, we are going to... Mermoot... Mermoot Z. Alright guys, so I'm actually really, really annoyed. Uh, because it used to be that you could set these... Waypoints and everything would be A-OK, -okay, so you don't have to lock target each time, but... Oh, okay. I guess it was a bug, something wrong. I am happy with that, so... Yeah, I was not able to get the first jump done. I actually did have to lock the target, but it looks like I can actually do this now. Uh, just jump from waypoint to waypoint. Uh, make sure you click on... Remove on approach. Yeah, make sure you click on remove on approach. Okay, we are at uh, Apathet Alpha. We have to go this way. And that's actually not the greatest way to go. Uh, we might have to go around because there is... Not much. Okay guys, so after literally about 30 jumps, we are now on the cusp of going to the Andromeda Decay Gate. So let's go ahead and have a look over here. Uh, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it. Let's go, let's go. So we're going to meet uh, my team there and possibly some members of another faction as well. Uh, the Scrub Lords, also known as uh, the Roughnecks. So, let's go ahead and see who we see here. There they are. Alright. Let's go say hi to our friends. Uh, let me get pilot mode back on, actually, since we are maneuvering. Ah, there they are. Ancient Warp Gate. Huh. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I kind of feel bad because I didn't actually do anything for this mission. I haven't been able to have the time to uh, like complete any of the missions, really. But um, a lot of people have been putting some work in trying to get this done. So let's go ahead and uh, get here with RJ and see... Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. A nice piece of machinery. USS LHW. Alright, I'm done crashing into you and examining you, so uh, let's go ahead and see what we have to do to make this thing work. I did bring my solar panels, so does, does that help? Does that do anything for you? Alright guys, I can go nowhere without my kablamis, so let's go ahead and make some of these. Uh, I do not have an area of effect weapon, and I'm actually okay with that, that's fine. I don't necessarily need one. Uh, I don't know if we're going to need weapons at all. This might just be a huge revelation. Oh wow, there is a lot of ships here. Okay. Uh, let me get into the fridge. Uh, get something to eat. Oh man, I have all kinds of stuff here. Veggie burger. Eh, I guess that'll do. I should bring some water. Alright. Alright. There we go. We are good to go. And it looks like Venom has made it here as well. Let's actually go outside and have a look to see what we need to do. Oh, wow. Let's check out, uh, let's check out Venom's battleship here. Woo! She is a beaut, and had we more time, we would go through this. Uh, this is Venom's battleship. <laughs> Very nice. I wish I had more time, so that we could actually go through and, uh, I could judge these, uh, with my dour, uh, my dour presentation. Where, where are we going? Alright, so we have gone through the gates, and here's the plan, guys. What we're going to do, we have somewhat teamed up with the Roughnecks, uh, since we are on a common mission in a weird strange place we are somewhat teaming up which means that we are going to set up uh, cooperative bases uh, either in the same orbit or on the same planet uh, and that way we can cover more grounds and also we can communicate better and trade if need be uh, so we are going to probably get the heck away from the gate now uh, which kind of sucked because you have to haul everything with you uh, meaning any resources you want, you have to go back and forth through the gate. Uh, so, obviously, I put on a transportation boost that lets me carry uh, 900 volume, which is great. However, it just it still takes forever, so that was pretty tedious. But I think we are good enough right now 
to uh, to move on. And of course, we got the Roughnecks Scrub Lords <coughs> watching our back, so I'm pretty happy with our progress. So we're gonna go find a cozy little spot to hang out. That's what we're gonna do.